a sticky date and pecan pudding. Oh. So it's sort of like a British pudding where it's like mm. toffee on the bottom, cake on top, and then we're gonna put some ice cream on the top of that. Toffee, I yum. know, right? It's gonna be super yummy. Mm. Um, so over here, I have this tiny little pan over here. I just melted some butter into that. Um, I'm going to add in some chopped dates. This um, is clever. You use scissors to yeah. snap so them Yeah, so a few years ago, Nigella Lawson was on, and she made a fruit cake for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And she taught us this tip where you just snip it with scissors. Because yeah. whenever you cut dates, it just, like, they the stick all over the sticking. cutting board. It sticks on your hands. Yeah. I was cooking these yesterday, and it kind of reminded me of, like, cooking anchovies in olive oil. Because you just want them to kind of melt down a little bit. My God, I wore my bit. anchovy socks today. Oh, my God, really? Yeah. <laughs> but basically, you just want to melt them down they a little melt. bit. Yes. And they melt dates into the batter. Dates will eventually melt down. Right. Just like anchovies. Yeah. So while those are melting, um, I'm going to start on our drying ingredients. I have some flour in here. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, some baking powder, and some sugar. And I'm just going to mix that up. Um, and I like to give this um, pudding, because the pudding is like really soft. It has like the sauce on the bottom and the soft right, sort right, of like right. steamy cake. So I like to add some nuts to it to give it a to little bit of a little crunch. Texture? Yep. Are some, those pecans? Yep. Toasted pecans, but you can use, you know, whatever kind of nut you have in the pantry. Uh, so I have a little bit of milk over here. I'm going to add that right into the pan. Into the pan with the yep. melty dates. There we go. Oh, it's like a hot date shake. I know, right? Yeah. And then mm. I'm going to take all that hot liquid, pour oh, it into this so pan. Oh, that's so good. See, we're only using one pan here, which is kind of fun. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Doesn't that smell yummy? Mm. Until it turns into a little batter. And then we're just going to put it right back into that skillet that we cooked everything in. Lovely. So and clever. Smooth it out. Now, this is like the key to a British pudding, and this is what makes it really fun. It's kind of like magical. You take a little bit of brown sugar, you sprinkle that on top. Do you want to put that into a sure. little layer? Yep. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on that because Rachel and I both like a little salt. We love salt with sugar. Yeah. It's like one stop shopping salt and sugar. Right. Yep. <laughs> so that it's almost like a salted caramel sauce. Oh. And then I'm going to measure out a half a cup of hot water. Seems super weird, right? But it's really fun. Put that right on top. And so then that turns into the caramel, caramel oh, mixture, dang. sinks to the bottom, the cake floats on top, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. That sinks to the bottom? Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Sure, you want a mop bean, babe? You need to take that a hot one? Ooh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? Oh! So, oops. That is gorgeous. Can you guys see that? The sauce sank to the bottom. And then, while it's still hot. Oh my God, it looks like it's breathing. It's going hubba, hubba, hubba. A little bit of ice cream. Woo! Some of that. Oh my God. Doesn't that look yummy? Look at that with the caramel on the bottom. Good, right? Oh, ridiculous. Yum. Ridiculous. So that is our first dessert. That's the sticky date mm. pecan pudding.